Hey everyone, welcome to Abby's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be thinking outside the user manual, showing you some unorthodox applications for some of my everyday kitchen tools. Let me show you what I mean. Exhibit A, the coffee filter. Okay, so let's just say you got a little bit antsy trying to get that expensive bottle of Merlot open and you accidentally shattered the cork. Eh, it's easy to get excited. I get it, but I assure you the party's not over. Just pour your wine through a funnel lined with a coffee filter straight into your decanter and strain out any unwanted impurities. It's best to be discreet about this, of course, but you know, if someone does catch you in the act, you can just make something up about it, aromatizing the wine. <laughs> you might even start a trend or something. Exhibit B, the ice cube tray. So doesn't it always seem like whenever you want ice, there isn't any? And by the time you've gone to the trouble of filling this thing and freezing it, you've already schlepped home a whole bag from the grocery store? <laughs> well, don't worry, there is use for this piece of plastic. Next time you open a large can or make a big batch of homemade super pasta sauce, rather than clumsily freezing all the leftovers in just one big resealable bag, you can pour it into your ice cube tray, pop it in the freezer until frozen, and then put your frozen cubes in a freezer bag. That way you get to take out just the portion you intend to enjoy and you don't end up wasting your culinary masterpiece because you have to thaw out an entire bag. And exhibit C, the bun pan. So let's face it, we've probably all bought one of these and used it once because we realized that bun cakes are only marginally delicious. The fresh corn on the other hand, now that's always exciting. While I do love a good barbecued cob, there are times that I just want to remove the kernels so I can throw them into a super salad. And now I've seen people trying to get the kernels off by awkwardly hacking at it this way, but you know, that just makes me nervous. Fingers are good people, let's, let's keep them. And all that delicious juice all over the cutting board, that's good too. So, if you just prop your cob into the bun pan, you can slide your knife down the shaft like this. It is a lot more secure this way, and you can collect all the juices and kernels in one place. So there you have it. Three new and innovative ways to use those tools you've probably got collecting dust in a drawer. Thanks so much for joining me for today's gastronomic adventure. Be sure to check back regularly for upcoming episodes of Abby's Kitchen, where nothing says lovin' like something from the oven.